Today we're looking at example 2 under the real number system, specifically simplification of expressions. And we're taking an example 2 from WASI in of day 2015, objective question 34. Simplify 1 out of 8, bracket opens 3 whole number 1 out of 4, minus 4 whole number 2 out of 3, plus 2 whole number 1 out of 6, bracket closes, divided by 3 whole number 3 out of 4. So these are the four options that we have here. A is 1 out of 40, B is 2 out of 15, C is 4 out of 15, and D is 2 whole number 13 out of 40. So which of these four um, options is the correct answer here? If you want to learn how to solve this question without the use of calculator, go to www.youtube.com slash ghbrains. That is G-H-B-R-A-I-N-S. There are a lot of videos under different categories or types for you to learn mathematics. So you go to ghbrains and you learn a lot of stuff over there. But here, we're learning how to use the calculator without um, solving it manually. Okay. So what we have to do, we go to solution and what we have to do first is to make sure that the calculator is in the general computation mode, what we call the comp mode, C-O-M-P. Now the comp mode is generally um, the mode that we do a lot of computations there. The moment you switch on your calculator, you see D and math and this is what we call the comp mode. Now when you see only D, it means the calculator is in the comp mode yet it is in the line input output and we don't want to use the line input output if you look at the screen right now we have only d there there is no math here so it means the calculator is in the line input output if i want to type say one over eight here you see one and you see a certain uh, symbol here yes and this is what we call the line input output this is what we used to see in the past that is we see this in the um the casio um, fx 991 ms but this is the es plus so we want the textbook display and we have to set that here that is the math input output so what i'm saying here is that first make sure that you have d and math on top of the calculator if you have d and math there it means that you are in the general computation mode and of course you are also in the math input output display that is the textbook display so if you are not in that mode or if you see any other thing here um Aside the D and math, what you have to do is to press mode, then you choose one that is COMP, that is the comp mode, and the moment you do that, you'll be in a general computation mode. All right, so now that we set with the um, mode that we have to do our um, computation, you will now begin here. Step one says we have to press one and press on the fraction template and press eight. So we press one and we press on the fraction template here. And press it that is to type one out of eight so we press one here then there is the fraction template so the moment you do that you have a box below the one and you now press eight then you have one out of eight now the next thing you have to do is from the question we have to type the left brace or we have to open brackets and before you do that make sure that you have the cursor removed from where it is right now now look at where the cursor now the cursor is beside the denominator now when i press the left um, bracket this is what i will see but when i look at the question this is not what i want so what you have to do first is if you look at the steps here it says that right after the fraction i have to press the right arrow key before the right arrow key so you see a right arrow or you see an arrow facing right so it means i have to press on the right keza key then after that i can now bring my left bracket so there is the right um keza key or the right arrow key so i press on that and i have the keza at the middle of the fraction and i can now bring my left bracket so i have the left bracket um typed here okay so the next thing if you look at the question here is the mixed fraction three whole number one out of four to type a mixed fraction or a fraction i have to first invoke the fractions template so if you look at this we have um shift here and we have you know a symbol or an icon here so we see something here and what it means is if you look at the um the bigger boxes we have black and white and that is the fraction um template uh, whether it is 
an improper or a proper fraction then on top of that you see three small boxes and that is for the uh, mixed fraction and um, because we see it on top here it means that it is a second function so if you want a mixed fraction we have to first press um, shift to invoke the second function so we have to press shift and we press on the fraction template so we come over here press shift and the moment you press shift to make sure that you have x at the um, top left corner of the screen so we have x here some of the calculators are very insensitive so you have to make sure that you have the s there before you proceed so when you have s there or the moment you see the s there it signifies or it means that you can proceed from here so we now press on the fraction template okay so we have three boxes here for the mixed fraction and one of the three boxes here means is that we have to type three and press on the right cursor key one press on the right cursor key and four so this means three whole number one out of four okay so we press three and we have to move the cursor from where it is to the upper box and by <coughs> um, press on the right cursor key we can achieve that so we have the cursor blinking in the upper box over here then we now press one then we press on the right cursor key again to bring it down then we press four so we have the first fraction that is the mixed fraction typed over here now the next thing we have to do is to press on um, the right arrow to move the cursor from below there so we press the right arrow and we have it here then we have minus so right after that we have to type minus so we press this and now we have the cursor here and we have to press the subtraction key so the next thing to do is to type the mixed fraction for whole number two out of three and to do that we have to first invoke the fraction template that is the mixed fraction template so again we press shift and we have to also observe and ma or make sure that we have the s at the top left corner here before we proceed from here so we have s here then we now go to the fraction template and we press on that and we have the three boxes over here okay so we are now going to type the mixed fraction that is four whole number two out of three so we press four press on the right arrow key two right arrow key then we have three okay so four then you press on the right case or arrow key then we press two you press on the right arrow key and press three okay so right after that so now we have the four whole number two out of three type we now go on to the next step and says that type right arrow key or press the right arrow key and press on the addition sign of course we have to move the cursor from below here so we press on the right arrow key then you press on the addition sign okay so we go to the next mixed fraction and that is two whole number one out of six and to do that we have to first you know invoke the um the fraction template as usual so we have shifts then you press on that so shift and you press on the fraction template so we have three boxes over here for this fraction and the fraction is two whole number one out of six so we have two right arrow key one right arrow key then we have six so two whole number then we press on the right cursor key so that we go to the upper box then one we press on the right arrow key again <laughs> so that we come to the lower box then we press six okay so let's move the cursor from where it is right now to the middle of the fraction and of course you see a right arrow here telling you that you have to move the cursor from where it is right now to the middle of the fraction so i press on that and have it over here okay so i'm done and i cannot close the brackets and i see or you see a bracket here so press on the right um brace then we have it closed okay so the next thing is the division sign so we press on the division sign here and we are left with them another mixed fraction that is the last thing three whole number three out of four and to do that we must first invoke the fraction template so you press shift then you press on this so shift then you press on that so you have three boxes over there so what we do now the three boxes are over there so let's fill the first box and the two the other two boxes will be revealed so the first is three whole number we have the fraction here so we have um three whole number then we have the other two boxes revealed so right after the three you need to press the right cursor key to move the blinking cursor to the upper box and you press three again then you press on the right cursor key then you press four okay so right after this that is how the expression is going to be on your 
calculator so you see screen display so it's telling you that it is what you see over there of course if you press on the left cursor key to um, go to the first part of the expression you see this and um, if you also press on the right you see this so the step 2 is a very simple step and it says that press on the equal sign for your answer now so you press on the equal sign and what you see is 1 out of 40 so the screen output is 1 out of 40 okay and therefore the answer is a 1 out of 40 so let us go and review the question okay of course the a is 1 out of 40 and that is the answer here okay thank you very much for this